Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a key tag or key ring uh, using the laser cutter. So to get started, what we want to do is click create new. Uh, one little tip is uh, call the file something here. So I've called mine key ring design just so that it's actually easy for me to um, kind of work with. Now with the, your units and uh, width and height, that is obviously 810 and 450. And main thing is you want to make sure that your color mode is in RGB here and not CMYK uh, because for the laser cutter, our laser cutter, we're going to be using RGB. Click on create file. Cool. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to create like a very basic key ring with just your name on it. Uh, we're going to choose like um, a circle shape here. Um, and what you can do is, you know, you can kind of just start kind of drawing here. But that purple, that pink line, when it shows up, that means it's a perfect circle. If the pink line doesn't show up, then it's more like an oval shaped. Uh, another way you could do is um, there is a little bar, this little, I think it's like a thumb, thumb stick almost, um, whatever you want to call it. If I use my uh, left finger and then hold it, I usually have like a perfect circle that I can actually um, kind of work with. All right, so that's another way of doing this. So I'm gonna create this circle, um, but ideally I wanna keep keyring that's like not huge. Uh, so if I click on properties here, uh, you can look at the W and H. Remember that it's uh, 120 centimeters. Now 120 centimeters, that's like half the size of a ruler there. That's a pretty key tag. I want a pretty big key tag. Um, so I'd, I'd prefer it, um, changing it to about 40 uh, millimeters. Now you'll notice that there's a little lock button right there. Uh, I'm going to lock it, which means that will actually lock the aspect ratio. And here I'm going to change it to 40. There we go. We've got a nice little circle to kind of um, work with. Uh, the next thing is, so this is going to be base off my um, keyring. Uh, I am going to create another little circle. But ideally this little circle, I want to keep it at about 10. Uh, 10 is a nice number because again, this is just a lot of playing around with it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on top of the circle now ideally you want to have it perfect um, and I think like I know that's in the middle right there but it's kind of gets a little bit tricky but anyway look I'm just gonna leave it there for now now here's the little uh, trick part that you can do you're gonna have this as the outline of your key tag and then I want to create a little hole inside of um, this current circle now notice that there's a plus sign next to the uh, rubbish bin uh, no I can't kind of show it, but you can kind of see this little plus sign. And what it does is it actually duplicates um, the circle. Now, I'm gonna go back to my properties here, and instead of it being at 10, I am gonna drop it to about maybe four to five mils. That's a very um, good size. Maybe let's go five mils. Oh, not definitely not 45. We're gonna go five mils. Uh, would five mils do? Yeah, let's try four um, five mils. Cool. So now the next part is I want to join um, the this circle and this bigger circle. Um, and I'm going to kind of select just those two circles. Then I'm going to go into the combine tool. And as you can see, there is a combine all. And if I click on it, there is my lovely little um, key tag. Now, at this point, I could actually add some text in it so I can click on some text click there and uh, write whatever it is that I'd like to do. Uh, so in this case, let's go. This seems to be the popular one. Happy birthday. Um, now, font wise, right now, this is quite a straightforward font. So if you go to text, um, again, this is in properties. So if you click on properties and you've got text there, you can drop it down and you're gonna have like a whole range of fonts that you could potentially work with. Now, if there is a particular font you're looking after, then you can click on more fonts. And when you click on more fonts, it's gonna give it in categories. Let's go with some handwriting, if I can find cursive. Okay, let's go cursive. And here we start getting a whole range of um, fonts. So let's go with uh, this one right here. Uh, it's a bit too thin, let's try that. Oh, that's a bit too rough. Uh, there we go, Metroscript. Okay, now that's something that I'd like to do. Now, the move button is that um, this right here, that's your move button. So I'm gonna move this around here. But obviously this is quite big. Once again, I'm gonna go back to the properties 
And remember that the circle was 40 width and 40 height. And the words right now is 42. So I might drop that to about, uh, let's say, 25. Is that going to be all right? Well, that's, that's not too bad. Like 25 is looking pretty good. The other thing I also want to do is I want to make sure that the words are actually centered. So in paragraph, you can see that there is a center button. I'm going to click on center. And then I'm going to go back and move the happy birthday to the middle of that circle. Now, that little pink guideline is kind of helping you that it's exactly in the middle of it. All right, now we're nearly finished, guys. The last thing that you'll need to remember is for the laser cutter, you want um, anything that's black is going to be shaded and anything that's con like the stroke that's converted to red is what it's going to get cut out as. So what we're going to do is we're going to select those two um, circles, the outside border and the inside border. We're going to click on um, properties, go down to stroke. And right now it's on black. We want to make sure that we click the correct red. Now in here, as you guys can see, there's quite a few different types of reds here but it's really important that you choose the right red. And you can actually go to swatches down here and there's a red there. And if you click on it, that is pretty much um, kind of like the pure red that we really want. Um, and hopefully this tends to work. Now I've always also found that the codes also work. It should be FF000. That is your perfect red right there. Now that's what you really want. Uh, and then also one other thing that you need to do is change the stroke from 1 to 0 0.001. And, and as you can see, it's kind of, it looks faded, but in reality, the lines are there, but it's just for the laser cutter, it's going to be um, super um, thin and that's absolutely fine. And you're pr pretty much good to go from this point onwards. Um, just remember that you need to... Um, share to Jarvis, and then you are pretty much good to go there. Um, yeah, that'll pop up later. Now, as I said to you guys, at the start, you really want to label your um, file. Otherwise, if you share it to Jarvis, uh, you're gonna have a whole lot of untitled files and it can get real messy, real um, easy, and you won't be able to find your file at all. But anyway, this is a, a really quick tutorial on how to do it with um, text. Um, I will make a part two of this um, little, uh, what do you call it, T tutorial, where I'll actually be looking at how to import an image onto your key tag. Cool. That's basically it for this little short video, guys. As always, thank you for watching.